Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking through this topic, common solids. And for this particular lesson, we'll be covering something called nets. So I want to see what a net is and how to draw the nets of common solids. And uh, we have a few questions on nets to help us with illustrations on how to solve problems involving drawing of nets of common solids. And then at the end of the lesson, we'll be having some few questions in the form of assignment to help you practice on uh, what we are going to learn during this lesson. So in geometry, when you talk about a net, we mean a two-dimensional shape that can be folded to form a three-dimensional shape or a solid. So when the surfaces of the three-dimensional shapes are laid out flat, you know, showing each of the faces of the figure, then the pattern obtained is what we call a net. So that gives you an idea of what a net is all about, you know. So we have an example here whereby we are supposed to draw accurately the, the nets of uh, a cylinder. So maybe you have this. Let me just draw a cylinder here. So what happens is, this is a cylinder. So what happens if you try to cut this cylinder at a section? Maybe at that. Then you fold this. You unfold this one here, also the other one here. Then you'll end up with something that looks like a square. Not a square, but a rectangle. Okay, so this is what we get when we unfold this and we unfold the other one and we straighten it. Now, what you should observe, look at this length here, AB. That length must be maintained here as well. That length, it has to be maintained. That length, you try to, if it's 5 centimeters, the other one must be 5 centimeters. So you measure it literally. You measure this literally. Approximately 5.3. The other one should also be approximately the same. 5.3. So you maintain that, and then uh, so this is C, and then that is D. So again, the length AD should also be the same as if you can get this this length. So this one you can use a string. To find that length and then you straighten it on a ruler to get the length so if let's say the circumference is is 14 centimeters this one is 5.3 the height so this length here must also be 14 centimeters or let's say the circumference is maybe let me use something like 9 then this one here must also be 9 centimeters yes you must you must observe that Okay. 
Then there is also the circle down here. So you must also indicate the circles. Now the circles should be equal in length. Okay. So you must have, if you can use a pair of compasses to help you draw a smooth circle at this point, the better. Yes. So you try to draw a smooth circle at that end. So this is the, the bottom, that's the top. Now, this circle should also have the same circumference as, as this one here. You try to make sure that that is observed. Now, this one, you have to start with the base. So the base should be four by four by five. Let me try to see if that will fit within this. And then that is five, so we have four. Remember the faces are rectangular in shape. That is five, and then also this other one is, is four. Yes. So that is the base. And then now we have the heights, which are three centimeters each. So you also indicate them. So we have, this is three. This other one is also three. So let, let, let me assume they are labeled. We have this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D. So we have E, F, G. So you must make sure that you also label the base that way. So this is E, 
F G H. So this is going to be B and this is going to be A. Okay. Then you also have the other side, we have the same thing, three centimeters. Same applies to this three. Okay. Then we have this side will be C, and then that will be D. Then we have also this other side, three centimeters. applies to this three centimeters so this is also going to be C this is also going to be B so we have top part also I mean the other side three centimeters on the other side So we have that three. And we also have this as three. So this is also D and this is also A. So that when you fold them, this A is going to meet with this other A to form a vertex, B with B to meet to form a vertex, C and C to form a vertex and D and D to form a vertex. When they are finally folded, remember this is unfolding form. This unfolding to form the net. When you fold them, you form the sketches that we talked about previously. Now on this other end, I'm going to draw the top. So the top is five centimeters by four. So I love to draw five centimeters. So that is the top part, and the top part must also be labeled A, B, C, and then D. Yes. So you can see how I've labeled it. The top part, how I've labeled the bottom. So when you fold them, that is what you're going to form. So that is how you do the, the sketch. Okay. So you have this. Again, you'll do the same thing. You'll measure. Now, here you see the measurements are not indicated, so you'll use this measurement here. You also use this. This measurement that are given. Like if I take the base, which is the square, the length is uh, is four. So that's what I'm going to use as the base. So I have that four. I have. Uh, So I have this other four. And you also have this lens, like that length is supposed to be. So this length is six. I must make sure that I have six centimeters length on this other end. The same thing applies to the top part. So six centimeters. Applies to this other side. So 
So six again. Six, and the same applies to this other side. So if you extend them, they're going to meet somewhere down there. So you label the vertex, this is V, this is also V, and that is also V, and the other one down here should be V. And then we have uh, A is here, B is here, C is here, and D is here. So six centimeters is here. This is six centimeters. This is also six centimeters. This is six centimeters. This is six centimeters. This is six centimeters. Now this one we got, it was four centimeters, each one of them. So those measurements are important as well. And the vertices, you must label the vertices. Yes. So that is all. You have a few questions here to help you practice on what you've been learning during this lesson. You can attempt when that can be as soon as possible. Otherwise, that marks the end of the lesson. Until next time, goodbye.